hi fashion lovers you are welcome to another interesting video in today's tutorial we are going to be learning how to make a mini skirt with butt and hip contour effect this skirt can be styled with leggings and is very easy and simple for beginners to make the method i use in making this skirt can also be applied in making a longer skirt or a normal short skirt trust me the skirt is very easy so if it is something you want to learn you need to keep watching this video don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and share this video as well if you are new here you are highly welcome kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell to all my subscribers thank you for subscribing let's get started To get started, I have my fabric here with me and so I'm going to fold it now. So fold it on the wrong side. So I'm trying to get the wrong side of this fabric. So you go ahead and fold it in such a way that it will be able to, you know, get um one quarter of your hip plus extra two to three inches. Then you want to go ahead and check if the length is up to what you want for your skirt. So the next thing is to mark one inch on top of the fabric. This is going to be a guideline for me. And after that, I want to input my vertical measurement. So the skirt band I want to use is 2 inches. So I'm going to remove 2 inches from my vertical measurement. So that's why I kept 2 inches on the top of the line. Then I'll go ahead and mark my the length of the skirt and also mark the hip line of my hip line and then I'll go ahead and connect. So when I I'm done with that. I'll go ahead and mark my dart, mark my nip, half of my nipple to nipple measurement, then mark half inch on both sides. So from I'm going to come down by five inches for my dart, and then I'll go ahead and connect the dart. So from here, the center front, I want to you want to mark half of your one well, quarter of your waistline, then mark the one inch for your dart. And then on the hip line, because we want to consider the hip and the butt, we are going to be dividing the hip into two. So we want to get the front hip and the back hip. The front hip is different from the back hip due to the butt or yeah, the back is a bit curvy. So the front is usually shorter and the back is longer. So you are going to divide your hip by two. My own is 38 divided by 12, I have 19. So meaning that front we have 19, the back will have 19. But because the front is the front, there is no butt at the front. I'm going to remove two inches from my front measurement and add it to my back measurement. So when I remove two inches from the front, I will have 17 inches. And when I add it to the back, I will have 21 inches. So if I um if I add the front and the back, I will still have the 38 inches. So the front hip is going to be 17 the back hip is going to be 21 inches so i have a video on how to calculate the measurement what to remove from your hip and what to remove from your front hip and add to your front to your back hip so you can go ahead and watch the video in case you are confused of what to remove and what to add to your hip so i'll go ahead and divide the front hip by two because this is going this is on fold the front uh, the fabric is on full so you're going to divide the front hip by two and whatever thing you have you mark so i guess i made mistake on the waistline so i guess i added more so i'm going to mark one quarter of my waist circumference plus one inch for that did you see that and from the waistline i'm going to connect to the hip line so whatever thing I have on the hip line, I'm going to subtract one inch from it and mark on my M. So whatever thing you have on the hip, you remove one inch from it and mark on your hem parts. 
So the next thing you want to do is to come to your waistline, the center front, and come down by one inch. And on the side seam, you go up by half inch. This is because of how the tummy is. The tummy is not straight. So if you have a very big tummy, you can come down by 1.5 inches or even 2 inches depending on how big your tummy is and then on the side seam you want to come up by half inch then when you are done connecting you go ahead and mark your half inch for the sewing allowance so you mark half inch for sewing allowance after that you mark your side seam sewing allowance so i'm going to be using 1.5 inch for the side seam sewing allowance So when I was done, this is what I have. So I'll go ahead and cut the front part out. So when I'm done cutting, this is what I have. You can see this is very easy to make. Did you see how the waist is? Everything aligns together. So I'll go ahead and fold my fabric to cut out the back part. So I'm going to be marking like two inches here. This is not my zipper allowance, but it's just a guide. On the center back like this the place that is going to be my center back did you see so i marked out two inches and on the top i'm going to mark one inch as a guide i'm going to mark one inch as a guide so after marking one inch this is what i have you want to go ahead keep your tape on the two inches because you're going to be adding that um, band of two inches and then you want to go ahead mark your hip line and then mark the length of your skirt. So you want to go ahead and connect all the lines. So for the back now, you want to come inward from that line that you marked by a one inch. And you want to like mark a, a slanted line or a diagonal line. The reason is from your back waistline to your hip, it is not straight, it's a big Covered you to the butt at the front at the back. So because of that, you need to eliminate that one inch so that it's your your skirt will lay down flat. So the next thing is to mark your dart half of your nipple me, uh, nipple to nipple measurement. Then you want to mark half inch on both sides, and then you can come down by five inches for your dart length, and then you go ahead and connect. So after you are done connecting from that line now, from that slanted line that we made, you are going to go ahead and mark your waist, one quarter of your waist circumference plus the one inch for the dart that you marked. And then on the hip line, you whatever thing you have as the back hip, which is 21, you want to go ahead and divide it into two. So the back hip is 21 inch inches so you're going to divide in divide it into two so i'm going to have it as 10.5 then you go ahead and mark your back hip so the back hip is usually bigger because of the butt and the hip on the back so take note of that whenever you're making your skirt you should know that the back is usually bigger than the front so you can watch my video on this so the video will teach you how many inches to the dot from the front and add to the back for all sizes so on the knee you have to come inward by one inch because from your butt to your knee is not straight so you want to observe that so you want to eliminate those excesses around that point so from the knee you come inward by one inch and then you take it to like one inch before the hip line one inch before the hip line so you eliminate those excesses around there so from your hip you measure whatever thing you have on your hip and then remove two inches from it and come to the knee line and mark you are starting from that new line on the knee to mark then you connect from the hip to the knee line so you just want to extend this part so from the waistline now, the side seam of the waistline, you want to go up by half an inch and connect to the dart line. For the front, we went down on the center front, but for the back, we are not going down on the center front because there is no tummy on the back. So we are going to raise the side seam by half an inch, just like what I did, and then connect to the dart line. 
they want to go ahead and add half inch for the sewing allowance on the on the waistline now you add half inch sewing allowance so on the side seam you want to go and add your side seam sewing allowance for me i'm adding 1.5 and i'll add and connect them after you are done you want to go ahead and mark your zipper allowance following the curve line you want to go ahead and add your zipper allowance of one inch you have to follow the curve line to get your zipper so when i'm done you try to blend every point then you can go ahead and cut out your fabric So when I'm done cutting, this is what I have. Can you see that? So this is the front, this is the back. You can see how the front back is curved. So that's how the back is supposed to be. Then you want to go ahead and cut this on the lining. You want to cut on the lining and then transfer your darts on the lining as well. So for me, I'm done cutting. This is my lining and I've transferred my dart. So I'll go ahead and sew the darts for the lining. And for the main fabric, I'm going to sew the dart as well. So this is the front part. The front part is being cut on fold while the back is two pieces. And you can see the front part, the lining parts now. So I'll go ahead and sew the dart for the main fabric and also for the lining. So when I was done sewing, this is what I have. I've gone ahead to sew all the dots for the back and for the front and also for the lining part as well. So the next thing you want to do is to hold your the two piece of your back and from the waistline towards the zipper part you are going to come down by your zipper measurement so i marked say six inches for my zipper measurement i'm still going to add like two inches band so it's going to make it like eight inches for the zipper measurement so from the end part i will come up by five inches for the slit and then i will sew in between those the line the line so also note that the hem part has 1.5 inches for the hemming allowance so the slit is going to be like 3.5 inches when you are done with your hemming allowance so when i was done sewing this is what i have you can see that this is the back and i also done that for the back lining as well so you are going to sew in between so what i did is that the hemming allowance i added on the lining and on the fabric is 1.5 inches so but on the lining i'm going to cut out one inch one inch leaving half inch on the on the lining so my hemming allowance was one 1.5 but on the lining i'm cutting out one inch from the hemming part so i will have half inch left that half inch left is what i will use to sew my to sew the damn parts of my to sew the hem part of my dress so you want to keep your lining the right side of the lining facing the right side of the fabric and then you want to go and sew on the hem part by half an inch you sew on the hem part by half an inch so for the front part you also want to face your lining right side of the lining facing the right side of the fabric you want to go and sew the hem part by half an inch so when you are done sewing this is what you're going to have so this is the front part so you want to push the lining upward like to the waistline and then use your pin to hold it down because you have cut out one inch from the lining so the lining piece and the fabric are not the same so you have to push the lining to the waistline and hold it down then push your fabric like this just the way you see me doing then use your pin to hold it so that is how you are going to you know you know sew the side seam so you want to push it up do you see you want to push that side up and make sure the side seam aligns together and then you use your pin and hold it down so you want to go to the sewing machine and sew by half an inch did you see you sew by half an inch so for the back parts now you want to also push the lining up to the waistline use your pin and hold it down and then go and then hold the two sides together and also sew the sides by half an inch
so when i was done this is what i have the, you see this is the front part i'm done sewing it so you can go ahead and cut out the notched or the pointy part did you see you want to cut it out and then turn it to the right side so when you turn it to the right side this is what you are going to have did you see it very fine and beautiful then for the back part i've also sewn that so you also want to go ahead and sew the slit side so you want to hold the lining and the the fabric on that slit side hold it well and then go and sew by the one inch one inch seam allowance that you added on the zipper side so you want to hold the lining and the fabric make sure all of them matches together then you sew the other side as well then when you are done with that you move over to the zipper so for the zipper i want the zipper side to be you know also closed so you want to hold the lining and the fabric and sew by 0 0.25 sew by 0 0.25 for the lining and for the zipper side you know we added one inch so when you sew by 0 0.25 you will have um, 0 0.75 left for your zipper so after i was done sewing this is what i have so i'm turning it to the right side for you to see what we have so this is what i have did you see it's very fine you can see the slit side everywhere is so perfect so this is the zipper side i've closed it a bit i added as um, one inch for zipper and i use 0 0.25 to sew that zipper so i'm still going to have like 0 0.75 for my zipper allowance so i will take it to the ironing board to iron it out so when i was done ironing this is what i have did you see how fine and beautiful it is so you want to hold it on the side like this so when we are sewing the lining when we're using the lining to turn this part we sewed by half an inch and we added the seam allowance of 1.5 inches so after sewing by half an inch you are going to be left with one inch so i'm going to go ahead and take that one inch sewing allowance on the two sides of this skirt and that is what i'm going to use to sew the skirt so after i was done this is what i have i have sewn the two parts of the skirt you can see that so i will go ahead and measure the waistline of the skirt for me to go and cut the band so for the band i'm going to cut i'm going to be cutting a straight band so bear in mind that this tutorial is for beginners so i don't want to cut out a complicated band so you can see i've cut out a straight band i folded it and if you measure it you have it as 2.5 so when you open it up it is 5 inches so i'll go and attach an interfacing to one side of the band so when i'm done attaching an interfacing i went ahead to sew the like so fold in half inch on both sides of the band in I use my I use my iron to fold in half inch on both side of the lining like the both side sorry on both side of the part of the band so you want to go ahead and get the midpoint of the band and also the midpoint of the skirt and then you want to open the band and then put the skirt inside did you see you just put it inside like maybe half inch inward you put the skirt half inch inward just follow what i'm doing and then use your pin to hold it this is like the easiest method for you to fix a skirt band so this is it so you want to like take it all around like be putting it like half inch inward into the band and then use your pin and hold them down did you see so this is what we have if you go and sew it if you have to sew it on top when you're done sewing this is some what you're going to have even though i've not sewn it so you now want to go ahead and attach your zipper so this is the end of the tutorial i hope you got value from this tutorial don't forget to give me a thumbs up like my video share as well thank you guys see you in my next video bye